everyone, this is Cowboy B from Wet Jet Performance again. I want to explain to you our tuning process. So if you're here, you decided you want to go fast and you want to roll with the best, we tune on the HP Tuners platform, the TDN Tune Delivery Network. Very simple process. Everything you need comes right in this kit. So this is kit number 001. We got 15 of them. And boom, you got your RTD and you got your CDU cable. So if you buy it, you will not get a case. If you rent it, it comes in the case so it's, it's protected and it comes with instructions for you to do before you actually get to us. I'm gonna do an overview of those instructions. Pretty much take it out the box, charge it, and you're gonna synchronize it. So you undo your diagnostic port, which I show you, hook it up to get power to it, and you sync all your files with the TDN app once you sign up for it. So you go set up the RTD for the first time, and I'll show you how to do that inside of the app and just show you where it's at. And then you hook it up to your diagnostic port, which I'm gonna show you where it's at on the Spark because that's the hardest one to find. And you just hook everything up and we tune you real quick. It's about a matter of a five, 10 minute process at the most once you get us on the phone. But the first 10 minutes, you're gonna do it yourself. So let's go ahead and get this tutorial started. All right, after you set up your email and set up your RTD in the, in the uh, app, what you wanna do is go into here. So your battery is here at the back corner of your battery is your diagnostic port. I'm touching it with my finger. You really can't see it. I'll send you a picture of it. But this cable right here is it. It's hooked up in a dummy port. So I'm going to reach in here with my hand so I can get the angle on it and release it. Heard it pop out. Now I have it right here. So it's in that general area. You're going to have to do it blind and hook it up but this is everything you need to hook up your RTD. Here. And you plug this up here, and this is gonna send the signal to your phone. So as simple as that. So let's get to looking at the app so we can show you what to do. And you'll see that it's flashing and setting up, getting power from your battery. And once it's set up, we've already preset this one up. We're gonna show you everything in the app right now. All right, what you do, once you get in here, go to your invite, you type in your invite code that you were given. We did that, and it goes straight to joining WJP Tuning. You hit OK, loading, and once the invite code is accepted, you'll be linked to the tuner. So we'll go ahead and get the invite code accepted and show you what that looks like. All right, we got everything set up. We went in, so you just go refresh, hit your account button. You'll see your link to WetJet Performance and we can see everything you're doing on your RTD. So we got the RTD hooked up. And this is what you're gonna do. The very first time you hook it up, you're gonna hit the tools button over here, go to first time setup, and follow those instructions. When I Simple as that, setup is complete, everything synced up. All right, what you wanna do when you first get your RTD, plug up your USB-C and get power to it and sync it. You go to the app and use the first time RTD sync and follow the prompts and then it'll go directly into downloading all the files and you do this before you do it outside on your CDU because the power cuts on and off and you wanna be able to get all your files. So you wanna get a steady flow of power here before you sync it do it inside on some Wi-Fi before you go out to try to tune your Spark or your 300. As you see, the files are going, and then it jumps right into the next one, and then we're all tuned up. So first time RTD setup is here, then you can sync your credits if you need to, but they'll probably already be there for you. And now we're going to go outside and tune the Spark because everything's set up. We're gonna download the restore and then get a tune file 
and go into writing that and then we're done. So pretty much everything you saw before there was time lapse, do it inside, get it all set up, plug it back up to the diagnostic port and we're gonna tune and we'll be done in about three minutes. And I went back to my Bluetooth settings just to show that we're connected so everything's good to go. So now we're gonna go back to the TDN, scroll through, we're gonna go to, this is already another vehicle I have on here. We're going to download this map onto here. This is your restore. So everything's hooked up. I'm gonna cut the power on. I'm gonna cut the power on here. Get your dash on and make sure you don't start it. Just keep the power on. And every now and then you wanna hit this red button just to keep your dash lit back up. So now we're going to go to read vehicle. That's the gas light there, so don't mind that. All right, everything's synchronizing with the RTD. It's, to de it's detecting your vehicle, and we're downloading the restore file right now. As simple as that, it's that fast. And the restore, now your tuner has your restore file. And when he has your restore file, which that he would be me or my assistant here, we'll go ahead and upload your WJP tune and you're gonna sync files and go on back. So as you see, it says your vehicle has been read and sent to your link tuner and we'll take care of it from there. And then once all this is done, you go here to sync files. When you hit that button, it's gonna scan the server and sync any tunes that we give you back. I just hit that button. It's not gonna find any tunes right now. And we're gonna go back and add you a tune right now. Now that we got everything synced, we have your restore here. So whatever tune you had or your OEM file is gonna go here. We're gonna go to sync files. Okay, once we got everything synced, we come back. There's your restore, we're in the vehicle. You hit sync files, this is what you get right here. We got the WJP 120 horsepower, aggressive throttle. It's in green, that's the one we want to write. We keep the dash on, we click on that. And we gotta make sure the RTD is synced. So let's see if it's synced here. Speaking to the RTD. And it's uploading the files from the phone. And then remember, every now and then, just tap the red button to keep it on. So you click it, hit right vehicle. So it's in the RTD and now the writing is in process. It's erasing the ECU. This means we're good to go. So your dash will do a couple things that's normal. Don't pay attention to that. You'll see it flickering and going through some, uh, a couple motions. That means you're getting that WJP tune hooked up here and it's erasing everything still. So every now and then I still tap that red button because I don't want the dash to die. And it'll tell you exactly how much time you got left for it to write your tune. So this is, this is gonna write it all out and then We'll just watch it and I'm gonna time lapse it. And once it gets done, it's finished and we'll go to the next step. Cause once it's done, all we do is start it up, no errors. We're almost there. That's the low fuel light there. And remember every now and then, come up here, just tap that button, keep it going. Normally don't have to, but it's better safe than sorry. And we're at 54% and we'll come back when it's at 100%. All 
All right, we're down to the last 20 seconds. See the RTD doing its thing? It's super easy. And get your spark moving the way you want. We'll explain everything after it's done. So it's complete. We go up here, we're gonna pull the key. Pull the key, the key, the dash goes, leave the RTD hooked up, and it's not gonna hurt anything. And you wanna let the dash die, go ahead, hook it back up. Fire it up. No engine codes, no nothing, you know we're good to go. And you're all complete here. So when you're complete, you hit okay. And your tune is in here for good, and it's attached to this vehicle. And if you want to tune another one, you have to get another credit. And remember, the 120 horsepower tune, is very aggressive down at the bottom, is gonna give you a great hole shot. And on the top end, depending on what impeller you use, a 12 by 17 or a 12 by 14, you're gonna end up with roughly about 52 to 54 miles per hour is the expectation. If you got a 12 by 17, I say tune it first before you try 12 or 14 because some people depending on your where you're at 12 or 14 you get a lot of pop out of that and you get roughly about 53 miles an hour so it's not worth spending an extra you know 300 bucks in some labor to get a 12 or 14 to get a little bit higher top speed which you'll end up right around 54 55 depending on where you're at but the expectation is roughly right around 52 to 54 miles per hour so it's gonna be different for everybody depending on your machine, but remember those are the expectations. Just wanna keep you positive here. The tunes are great, and this is a great system to use. We're in a lot more control over what's going on here, and we wanna give you the best. So easy, your smartphone, no tablet to send you. So if you get the rental unit, this is all you're getting, and you send that right back, get your deposit back, great. If you decide you wanna keep this, or you wanna do maintenance lights and read DTC codes, you can do so and you just call us up, we'll bill you the extra for it, you can keep it. So the rental unit is available for purchase. So we got everything done, we'll show you what it does on the water, but this is how you do any tune, no matter if it's a Spark or a 300, here at WJP Wet Jet Performance. So this has been Cowboy B with another great DIY and how you tune here, peace. When you're finished with your tune, remember, Get this wire back up in the port. You don't want any water on that. Don't let it dangle. Get it back in the port. Push it back in and secure it. I already got it in there, so it's good to go. And then you finish up with your tune.